we are running with caution of things to do. Yes. So looking back at our journal, this can be done if we want to waste the time running down there. We tried to do, I mean, this is, this is pretty much the last thing left. Uh, we tried to do this. We definitely ran up there to look for, um, finding something for the burial. Um, uh, and cakes. Yeah. Above that, that house. So, da -da -da -da. uh, we definitely went and looked, uh, all the way up here and here and there wasn't anything there, which was disappointing. And up river from Baldur's Gate, yeah. And there wasn't anything up there. Uh, this, again, is just, it's not really something we can accomplish. I think we messed this one up when we killed the guy. I even tried reloading it to, like, not kill them and talk to them some more. I think I just did it improperly. Um, but, like, honestly, aside from that, like, as far as, like, completion goes, we, we did some solid stuff. We even ah. did some stuff that wasn't really quest Think related carefully. stuff, so like running all, like leveling up a bit, and then going all the way back down to Firewine Bridge and fighting that ogre mage. Um, <clears throat> and now we sit outside the Iron Throne headquarters. Prepared to enter and face... I am proud to stand that? among <laughs> such strong <laughs> warriors. Um, it's been a while since my last, uh, Recording, sadly, I went to a military school, um, and then after yes. coming back from that, uh, I had to move apartments. But I have, like, a, a kind of private yeah? what do you want? studio-esque setup here that I'm still kind of working on, which will allow me a little bit more privacy and more control over how often I can record, as well as the environment that I'm recording in. My I'm honor. really excited to start putting some money into the computer programs that I use to... to Supply you better rang? quality, more constant uploads. I'm just having everybody drink this potion. By right Temple now. Shield! Which, I don't know if this was the right thing to do or not, because it said in the description of this one, Lothander, the guy that we saw, um, is terrific once combined with Merrick's half. It is very possible that this is just discolored water. Um, so I don't remember if that was... It's not allowed in a container. It's just kind of sitting here. I don't remember if... What is the plan? If we're good now, because we drank that. <laughs> but, uh, whatever. Uh, With caution. There's one thing left to do in here anyways, and then we kind of have to finish our adventures outside of Baldur's Gate, and then return back to Baldur's Gate shortly after that. And I'm going to have to re No time to chit-chat. To gameplay here, With I caution. have, and I'll admit this, out, away, fly while you can, there be madness here, and I can stand it no longer. Madness in this much louded tower, there must be malice here, I have no doubt, but madness never. Calm down and explain yourself, good sir, that they may understand you better. Calm down, calm down, while Sarah Fox acolytes practice their magic cacophony above me. I dare say not, stranger. I dare say not at all. Yes? Well, that's a pretty good indication of what we're dealing with. But let me, since I just loaded in, let me switch these Think two. Think carefully. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, yep. And there we go. Nope, I did that wrong. Who is it? Bran Lennon. There we go. We'll get in, we'll get in here. Hey! -ya. Guard. Hmm. Welcome to the Iron Throne Citadel. Could you please state what business brings you here? We have business with your leaders. We've just come from Sembia and are quite weary, so if you would just subside. Seeking employment. Here's some gold. I'm kill here to kill all those who would associate themselves with the Iron Throne. Eh, I mean, not all of them. We're here to kill some very specific individuals. I don't want to lie. Um, I'd rather just pay them off to make them go away. We don't have any questions. Come on in. Again? And is he going to leave? What a guard. What a guard. With caution. Um, merchants. Huh? Yeah, I I'll get right on that. I want to like a detect evil on these guys. 
uh, just to helm with helm's blessing. See if they might perhaps be detect evil. Okay. So they must just be regular merchants. All my stuff is authentic. Oh, really, it is. If you hear about obtaining iron shipments for your company, then you'd best do so elsewhere. No interest in dealing with other companies. All my stuff is authentic. Uh, really, so it is. So they're really still super ah. focused on the business aspect of this, which leads me to believe yes. they're not, uh, not, haven't been replaced yet. All right. Let's do this right here. I do believe we're going to join the army. Oh, what is the plan? That's why. Really hell. Or interact with these individuals. I gotta know. No, enough time. <sighs> Where do you think the fifth floor? Sarabok asked us to deliver an important message to his acolytes. Hmm. Better you than me. Working with that crowd can be downright creepy some days. Creepy are they? I'll be sure to pass that on. I, I spoke out of turn. My apologies. I'm, I'm very sorry, sir, ma'am, sir. Don't tell them, please. You don't know what they'll do. They're so good. They're so very good. They're not creepy at all. I'm sorry. Okay. He wasn't evil, so yes. that makes you feel better yes. about that exchange. Honestly, he's not going to have What you got for me this time? Here. Yeah, I'll get right on that. Soon, anyway, as, as I'm going to handle the business. Oh, it failed. Is this really it? Wow. Okay. Again? And I guess for that quick interaction. Yes. That's, that's fine. Do a quick save. Head up. Okay. Yeah? What do you want? Super leery about the morning. Way ahead of you, boss. Right now. Mortuary. Guard. I see things are starting to heat up a little bit in here. Emissary Tar and a couple of cooks. Um, I assume this ah, isn't going to be like a with caution. big fight. Okay. Uh, my honor is my life. Ajantis, you know the drill, my guy. Ah, you're uh, you're evil. You're we're gonna kill. We're gonna kill you. Uh, <clears throat> let's see here. Uh, wait a moment. Could you please tell me where I could find real tar? It's important that I speak to him. I've been given the runaround too long. Realtar's damn son, Saravok, seems to think he's in charge here. <gasps> oh, I didn't know Saravok was Realtar's son. Uh, we must ask for a name before we go telling the whereabouts of Iron Throne. Hi, Ops. I'm Nortuary. And your Iron Throne Hi Ops answers to me. I've just arrived from Selgont in Sembia. The council wishes to know how things are faring. Now tell me where I can find real tar. Yeah, he's in the upper offices at the moment. If you go up there, I'm sure you'll catch him. Good, finally, I get a straight answer. What is the plan? I really was tempted to, to attack Think him, but carefully. I mean, I've got the best prices this side of Cormier. Before I, you I it, should have joined the army. <laughs> Here come more guards. You there, what are you doing here? I don't recognize you. Um. Oh, da -da -da. that guy just came from Sembia. Let's go with the Sembia line as well. Okay, sorry for trouble, yeah. I'm not, not super about just killing guards, you know? Especially don't considering give me any lip, our characters peasant. are also Do you know who I am? level capped and wealthy beyond uh, most people's imagining. Last, someone who looks like they could be of some assistance. These sort of boobs and dimwits around here have been of little help. How may I assist you, ma'am? Ma'am this, ma'am that. I have a little desire to suffer through more of your flat gen gentility. You may call me Emissary Tar and direct me towards the nearest staircase. I have some important business to conduct on the fifth floor on behalf of the Grand Dukes. Uh, the nearest staircase. Hmm. Uh, haven't seen any staircases for a while. Let's ask about our business. Grand Dukes have sent me to negotiate a new iron treaty with Thaldorn. 
It appears that the Merchants League and Seven Sons have voluntarily granted the Irish Front temporary control over their minds in order to simplify the city's structure and thereby strengthen the war effort. Should it come to that, I'm here to ensure that we have access to that iron at a favorable price. The Iron Prune has been more than cooperative with us to date, and I doubt that they will change their tune now. Now, if you excuse me, I have no intention of being late for my negotiations. Okay. Whatever. Not a big deal. Another quick save. Things get busy here. Oh, I think it's through this doorway. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's through this doorway that yes. things start to get kind of busy. Let's do a... Huh? Uh, Way ahead of you, boss. He's still hidden? He is still hidden. I'm going to do a quick save anyways. I'm, a, I'm quick crazy for quick saves. Destus Gurn. No, it isn't through the story. I could have sworn... Merchants... Is it just a bookshelf? Merchant... Perhaps it's the nest of the next one. Yes, with caution. Again... Good. Now I was done and done. What you want? I knew you were gonna come up and talk to me. You must be the city, the city negotiators. Let me see on the list here. Emissary, emissary Tar. Right on time and a pleasure to meet you. My name is Destus Gern, Assistant Chief Accountant for the Iron Thrones operations on the Sword Coast. I think he's supposed to be. I mean, he has the model of a Zvart. I think he's just supposed to be like a small man. Uh, and just quick briefing on our negotiation procedures before you head the stairs. Thaldorn will be accompanied by a board of six Iron Throne advisors sent to us from abroad. Zalim, Zalimar, Cloud, Cloudwolf, Gardouche, Naaman, Diab, Asim, and Eli. All of them quite respectable men eager to meet you. We also have a seventh member on that board today, a Mr. Lyle Espejo. He is there to ensure that things go smoothly in this time of transition. As for the agenda... Yes. On the agenda, as you well know, are a discussion of our current offer regarding iron, iron prices and some notes regarding the output of new mines we've acquired. Preceding all of that, however, Mr. Espejo would like to have a few words with you about the positive change in dyna dy dynamism, economic and otherwise, that he has been witness to in his recent travels to the Sword Coast region. I do not doubt you will be f you'll find it interesting, but I have taken enough of your time. Please proceed upstairs so that the negotiations may begin. Ah, we've been warned. <sighs> I really don't want to go around and grab all these books because I still have books in my inventory that I need to read. And, like, I'm ready. Ah, I'm ready, man. I'm ready with for caution. this encounter to start. Um, uh -huh. I don't know what we can do to prep. Sure. You can have a What shield. you got for me this time? Let's have you poison your weapon. Hello. Um, uh, green stone? That's going to her. Um, let's see. Da, 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 da. Chant. Helm! Give me strength! Um, I thought he had... No, it's Knight that Where has, to now? like, everybody's protection from evil, right? What is the plan? You've got... Nope, I don't want to use that. Polymorph self, I don't want to use that either. Yes. By Temper Steel! Okay, we're chanted. We are. Yeah? What do you want? Blessed. Yes? What? Now I wonder. Um, oil of speed, you should drink that. Potion of heroism, you should drink that. Also drink that. She doesn't have anything. She can put those up there. Open lock pick pockets. Yes. And you're also going to drink that. <sighs> Fire arrows, is that what I want? Dispel magic on target when hit. We're gonna have him focus the mages in the back. Again. Pretty yes. Saved. With caution. Come on now. Get positioned. For my fear my wrath, for it is great indeed who dares intrude upon our negotiations. Well, Emissary Tar is right there. 
I'm not even going to attempt that line. Let's just say who we are. Ah, yes. Saravok warned us you might try to meddle. That meddling will stop here, however. And who are you to say so? I've crushed all those before you. Those before us were, fo were fools as you are. Those before us were weak as you are. Those before us were not Salamar, or Gardush, or Naman, or Diab, or Asim, or Alai. Those before us are dead, as you will be. So it has been decreed, so it shall be done. So orders. Cerebuk. Alright, so, as soon as this is over, I need to try and pause this so I can, um, so I can, uh, it's just OP. Yes. And you can either severely handi yes. han handicap yourself by prepping for it. Blah, 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 blah. Shut up and hit your Uh huh. Alright. We're all getting silenced. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. Let me check out this spell. Deafness? That's not what I wanted, is it? Deafness, one creature, totally unable to hear sounds. 50% chance at spellcasting failure. Yep, yep, yep. Was it Nira? No, maybe it was By Temple Shield! Of. Yeah, it was Brain One. Okay. Um, 15, casting time 5, area of effect 15 feet radius, sphere. Yeah, I just, we gotta handicap these fools, man. What is it this time? We gotta hamstring them, I mean, is what I meant. Um, you... My honor is my life. Switch to this and hit him. Yeah? At what do you run. want? Switch to this, hit him. Yes. Night just Don't in front. Again, think carefully. I could really use technology. Chica. Helm. Give me strength! Alright, they're in trouble. By hell! This does extra damage, okay, just extra damage. Versus regeneration. That's not something we're concerned about right now. Yeah! Get him over here. Huh? Who's casting for that? You! Cool. Now I Apparently wonder. he resisted the um the silence spell. Uh so let's try and cast it on again. What you got for me this ah. time? Uh and then while we're at it, also try and put this dude down. Got one of those. Ah. Ah. Yeah? What do you want? Top of my to-do list. What is your command? What is your command? Ah, uh, they're all kind of packed up over there nicely. I wonder if we could, uh... Eat flaming! Or, uh, possibly My honor is my life. Death! Alright. Where to now? Night, why Don't are you not up here? Your... No. Huh? Yeah, I'll get right on that. Go ahead over here, at Arrow. Right? Get that bow here. Oh, and let's switch to, uh, an arrow that's gonna do a little bit more. So that one's dispelling, very situational. Yes. Uh, and you will. Crushing. Electrical. I think it's been a while since we've been able to, to run with Ashadina. Let's, let's go ahead and swing it. Ah, oh, she's punching Helm. people now. <laughs> Give me strength! Alright. You can hit. What you got for me this cool. time? You're gonna hit. Gonna hit. Uh, dun -dun. I almost cast Cloud Kill over there. Why would you run in there, you silly man? Yeah? What do you want? Nice, hit him. Poison. Very nice. Speaking of, let's try and poison this dude too. Yes? Uh, and. Huh? Also Way ahead of you, boss. 
Alright, looks like this fight's going Again. a little better. I know I said the silence didn't work, but we're certainly doing better this fight than we were the, uh, the first one. Let's, um... Let's just kind of By up, hell! For the glory of hell! What is the plan? With caution. Yeah, she's in yes. over there. Let's, um... Let's go help her. Knight doesn't have our healing spells. Let's Hello? For him. She doesn't have our healing spells. I don't have them. Oops. Again? Perhaps we needed a rest before running in here. Ah, what is the plan? Yes. Yes? <clears throat> With caution. What now, I wonder? Alright. A simple task. It's funny. I am proud to stand among such a strong Gregorian. Um, money, a stroll, a hel helbear. I am glad he did not use that freaking wand. That could have been actually. Uh, I'll send uh, one of our mage types over there to pick up that nonsense. <sighs> that was an interesting fight. Alright, so I'll take a second to just manage all this loot. Alright, my goodness, that took us some time, but we managed to get everything in our inventories. And before I rent this, that's just an antidote. It's gonna go in there. Oops, there. Uh, I wanted to get this running again. I have a task for you and those you have selected. You, the first of the faithful, are to go stand ground in my stead. Be assured that I would not belittle your devotion with simple guard duty. That this chore is of particular interest to me, and thus to you, Giriel Aeochio, has become as a thorn in my side. I wish it removed. Do so, and you shall please me greatly. Such is your charge. Do not fail in this. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> Did I update our journal at all? Let's check. Investigating the Iron Throne. It's negotiating a treaty with the city's Grand Dukes. Is the simple treaty the key to ending all the unrest of the past season, or is it just another link on a long chain of motivations? Will money satisfy the throne's greed, or is there something more behind it all? I have so many questions, but I feel so close to finding this. I somehow doubt they will be quite as fulfilling as I hope. Ooh, ominous. Again, think carefully. <clears throat> Um, man, I wish I had more. By Temple Shield! probably got all the healing spells on her, right? That's what I'm gonna guess. Um... One. Wow. We only have one healing spell? Huh. I probably need to rectify that, uh... little issue. Oh, there isn't a second level. For real? Man. What is this? Come on, tell me what it is. Oh. Invisibility bridge, alright. Whatever. Ah. Let's set my honor. Is what you my got life. for me this time? Hey, Top of my to-do list. Let's see what we got going on. There's a dead lady. Oh, <gasps> that must be the real. Oh, okay, so the one we met downstairs was the real Emissary Tar. That was a doppelganger that had literally just taken over her body. That is wild. No traps in here. Let's get this guy's attention. He'll probably come out of here. Try to talk to us. No. Alright. Anybody back here? Any T raps, perhaps? It says nay. Ah. More items of interest. Letter. Father, I received your letter, and I can assure you that the mercenaries led by Akiria will no longer trouble our operation. I have dealt with them personally before dying. They were most forthcoming in their revelations. It is as you had surmised, they were agents of the Zentarum. I am also writing to tell you that I cannot attend the meeting at Candlekeep. Some problems have arisen with the Chill and the Black Talons. They have had trouble working with each other, and I am needed there to smooth over any dissension. I am sorry that I will not be at your side. 
side. What, what mercenaries? Use that the mercenaries led but will no longer trouble our operations. I've dealt with them personally. No, you haven't, bro. I'm right here. I've never even seen you. Well, I've seen you once. Realtor. My superiors are intrigued by your proposal. I would like to discuss it further, but not through correspondence such as this. The Harpers and Zens have been very active in this region of late. It would be very unfortunate if they tried to disrupt an alliance between our two organizations. If you, Brunus, and Thaldorn were to meet with us in the safety of Candlekeep, my superiors would be much relieved. Please send a response ASAP. I don't think they knew what... I don't know if ASAP was a thing. Maybe it was. Maybe I'm just being silly. Okay. Nothing in there. It does have two scrolls, which will send that way. Oh, she can learn that? That'd be probably decent. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. I don't even care. Yeah, it's a simple task. Did that also update my journal? Nope, it didn't. Maybe this guy, talking to this guy, will do it for uh, Hello! I don't want any trouble. What are you doing here? Get out of this building before I call the guards. We can't do that until you answer some questions. You're here to kill me, aren't you? You can't kill me. Do you know who I am? I'm Thaldorn, one of the leaders of the Iron Throne. Yes, option three. Please don't hurt me. You can find everything you need with Realtar. He's the true leader of the operation. He always carries everything on his person. Am I free to go? Mm, well, where where is that? Brunos and Realtar, they're at Candlekeep, attending business with some benefactors from the south. Will you let me go now? Yep, so that's like a little chat loop. Okay, before... Helm! With Helm's blessing. I want to do one of these. What is the nope. plan? You're not going anywhere, buddy. Oh. Oh. What? <laughs> Are you freaking kidding me? How did he just teleport? And Ajantis, why are you overburdened? Oh, that crossbow too much for you, bud? What the heck is this? Oh, the Sword of Balderon. I don't remember that bad boy. Oh wait, he has so many things that I should really use, probably, more often. Shapeshifters, boom, right there. That probably would have been immensely helpful, but instead By of hell. giant idiot about it. Okay, so... Yes? By the sound of it... My honor yeah. is what are you, my Way life. ahead of you, boss. Um... Again? I wonder if he was a doppelganger. Hi, Taco. When was the last time we loaded? I just quick saved right there too, so I can't quick save. With caution. Dang it, Archer. Well, it was a fun idea. With caution. Should I let these guys know that? Nah. They could figure it out on their own. They're with caution. Strong-willed, intelligent individuals. Think carefully. All right. With caution. All right. Let's see what we got going on here. Maybe I'll let him know on our way out. All my stuff is authentic. Really, it is. Okay, so once we get outside... You must gather your party before venturing to forth. To I serve the flaming the fist! fist. Oh, okay, yeah, I have a word. Relax. I'm not here to hurt you. I know you've been attacked almost every turn. I am an ally, true and sure, Caden. And why should I believe you? So trust me, but also have no reason not to regardless. I'm a messenger. I was told by Scar to keep an eye on you, though you seem quite capable of taking care of yourselves. In any case, I think you would benefit from a visit with Scar to Galton. Very well. Try well now. Just proceed to the Flaming Fist headquarters in the southwest quadrant of the city, and you will see him. I take my leave. Yes. Yeah, all right. Whatever, man. Cool beans. Uh, southwest quadrant of the city. Boink. That's gonna be. Yeah, I think that's it right there. Think carefully. Ta da! Alright. That should help us wrap up. Uh, and we could hit a. Uh, 
but still cloaked from a beast in who I find it felt opposed to him and bear a drops. I don't think I'm gonna do that. We just when we threaten Thalmor, we told Bill Turn versus can candle keep. Yes. Yeah. That's it guys. That's it. We're getting close. Very close. Yes. I don't think I said this before, that is a, cool. a simple a task. super appealing entrance to stop it, you. Ah. To a building, but I guess maybe yes. it's what is the plan? supposed to be intimidating? To discourage people from committing crimes? Where to now? Huh? Yeah. Think carefully. I need to talk hmm? to my boy Elton. Ring in hand, I still wait for my lady. She'll be here soon enough. Travel well, my friend. I think I did a quest for her at some point. I serve the flaming fist! Oh, the beside me. He should be waiting in his office. Oh, okay, yep, they're there. Delos. Again, think carefully. Helm, give me Let's strength! Check for ah. All right. With caution. Think carefully. Greetings, taxpayers. <sighs> I am Duke Elton, commander of the Flaming Fist. He's currently supposed to be a candle keep on some sort of business. Travel to Candlekeep and learn what he's doing there. Whatever it is, it can't bode well for the fortunes of the city. Take this book. Without it, the Keeper of the Portal won't allow you to entrance into the library. Here also is the reward money that I had promised you. Oh! Your journey has come full circle. Duke Elton has asked that you travel back to Candlekeep, where you must spy upon the leaders of the Iron Throne. While it troubles you that such evil men now make use of the Great Library, and you wish the circumstances of your visit would be different, it will still be a pleasure to return to your former home. That's it? Oh wow, we just, okay. What is the plan? Yes? I guess we won't be stopping at Feldpost's Inn. Um... Again, think carefully. Ooh, I'm tired. This is like a relatively well defended keep, though. <sighs> Casting spells isn't as easy as I make it look. And I'm tired. This the small land that like this is the only thing keeping it from being waterlocked. But hold, travelers! Before you will be allowed entrance, you must donate a tome of great value to our libraries. I know that you were the child of Ryan throughout all your life, but I cannot accept anyone from these sanctions. Okay. No worries. I'm not a doormat. To get entry to our most holy library, it's fine to see the child of Brian. Yep. Mm -hmm. Please have your less civilized friends refrain from causing trouble. We are very strict. The letter of the law. Yep. 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 Ah. Oh, jeez. I keep pressing W instead of Q to quick save. With caution. I should have joined the army. Talking about the iron shortage. Buddy, if you only knew. I wonder if uh, I wonder if our buddy Hall can be found. The old clinic down here. Yes. I should have joined the oh, army. The, that isn't someone with a tail to tell. I don't know. Who, I don't know who is. Oh, if that isn't someone with a tail to tell, I don't know who is. What have you been up to this past while? with option two. Killing more cobalts than you could ever imagine. Hey, you wouldn't happen to need a few rusty old short swords, would you? Because I've got tons. I was good for a laugh, you were. I'm sorry about grinding and August. You've seen more than co just cobalts, haven't you? Uh, yes. Yes. Sir. What is the plan? Think carefully. You might be accurate in that assumption. No, excuse me, but I'm late for my classes. Dishes to tackle. Locked. Yes? With caution, yes. Nothing there? Bunkhouse? There he is. 
Hmm? Parda. I heard you had returned. If only it weren't in such dark times. Something is afoot in Candlekeep. There is unvoiced panic amongst those of us who still call these haunted halls our home. You must help us, I pray you. Just tell me how, Parda. Go around, search about. You have been away for a time. Perhaps your eyes will see things that we cannot. We have been here too long. We are blind to the malignancies. They have crept up so slowly and absorbed themselves into our gaze, but they are here. My eyes can't see them. My ears can't hear them. But all that is in me screams with the knowledge that they are there. Hush, no one must know that we've been talking. Stop. stop. By hell! I don't know if get it in time. Again? With caution. I'm like on a detect evil kick, man. With caution. I just want to see if I can sneak some secrets out of this. <sighs> Ryan's passing. Fuller and I went out together as body, but you were nowhere to be seen. I don't know what you two came across that night, but Ryan died in double death, saving you from it. Yes. I need your help, Hole. What can you tell me about the Iron Throne? Merchant's Guild, I think. Winthrop probably knows more about them than I do. On the other hand, two of them are in the libraries right now. They've been around for a few days now, so they had some, some business to conduct there. <laughs> Damn it, I really wanted to thank him for helping Orion as well. You try the doorknob and a muffled voice from inside the barracks it says, Go away, you chimp. <laughs> what? How dare. You know who the fuck I am? You see these stats? Wait, where are my character stats? Oh god. Why am I for- Oh, I'm in the inventory. Oh my god, I'm a new- Ah, with caution. Just have to delete that from the, uh, old recording later. <sighs> right, Taco? My cat's laying on my hand as I'm playing. Yes. This is where the fire bead be guy lived. By Moradin's hammer! Get away without leave, soldier. Are you expecting forgiveness? Are you expecting redemption? Well, spare me. I want 500 push ups and I want them now. Cute, Reaver. What is it with caution? Very cute. Oh, Winthrop. First NPC we talked to in the game. My hotel's as clean as an so elven arse. now and make every bolt count. <laughs> There's the rapscallion. Sit on the little wisp now and make every bolt count. You'll never take me alive. Well, calm down, kiddo. That big old world has tied your britches in a knot, hasn't she? It's just good old Winthrop trying to pull your leg again. I guess having to see Gorion die like that has its effect on a kid, eh? I'll keep my jokes to myself next time, I guess. Ah, uh, Winthrop. Ah, oh, cool. We can sell him some, some uh, items from the outside. Not that we need the freaking money. Yep. What is this? They go plus two. Whichever is better. Oh, wow. 1d12? Oh, wait, Minotaur who traveled. Oh, okay, yeah. I want to read this. Suriris, a white minotaur who traveled with Orsan Mountains of in Termish. Traveled the Orsan Mountains in Termish, lived for nothing but the thrill of combat, had encountered warriors to challenge him for his magical weapon, powerful halberd. Despite his aggressive nature, he was an honorable combatant, and never slew opponents he could overpower. Met his superior only once in a battle that lasted hours, and had the minotaur often fearing defeat. The contest ended when his opponent's sword broke, but Surius knew he likely would have been bested had it continued. He presented his weapon to the astonished man, who thereafter told of this noble creature to anyone who would listen. Suriris. Suriris. That's awesome. I like that story. Yes? Alright. We will rest. Yes. My hotel's as clean as an elven arse. Royal accommodation. Wait. First. I'm gonna drink. One for each of us while I have a nice cold water in my hand. IRL.
Baldur's Gate like main campaign. Again, closer to with caution. Ah, like endgame stuff. With caution. We're in the endgame now, boys. Oh, where's Oph Ophelia? Was her name? I can't remember. Is the cow doing any better? There better be a cow over here. Oh. What do that? you need? Um. In the past while I've seen 50 times as much as these walls could ever hold. It's weird though, all that space and barely a book in it. I never realized how special Candlekeep really is. People come from all over to see the books here. All sorts of folks too. Bars, nobles, priests, mages. Volo's even been here and Elminster too, remember? Oh, Volo, that's awesome! When we do d and I have Volo's Guide to Everything. A couple of just plain old merchants even wandered in the other day, said they were with the Iron Throne and were here to do some business. They're still around, last I heard. Thanks for the info. We're gonna go in Guns of Laban. Priest of Ogma? What is the... Why is there dead cats in here? With caution. Why are you killing cats, bro? Wait. Ah, with caution. What you got for me this time? Yes. My honor is my life. What is the plan? Think okay. carefully. These walls it's contain the world's world. knowledge. What are you doing to that cat? It died and I am studying it. You're studying it? What's there to study? It's a dead cat. The bones, the muscle structure, the shape of it, how it's fertilized, where its ears are placed, the length of its whiskers, the sharpness of its teeth. I must know it all you cur, now leave me to it. Why would you need to know that? Why would anyone? Must you pry so hard you middle Oh, he's a doppelganger! Yes, think for the glory again. Of think carefully. He, he passed the the test evil test though. What is your command? I guess you need to Ah, with caution. Like what that. is the plan? I don't like that. With the whole caution. Premise of what I was doing was based upon the fact that they would show up on the detect evil test. <sighs> wow. Uh, the plot freaking yes. thickens, I guess. Mm, I saved the cats. Think carefully. Sorry, kitties. Not everybody does that mean. With caution. Someone's got a stack. What do you need? Oh, I already talked to him. That's messy. No, I already read that one. What's that boat doing in there, anyways? Did I put that in there? I am and I proud to stand among such strong warriors. That'd be awesome if it stayed there this entire time. These walls contain the world's knowledge. Definitely want that. I still have these bells again with caution on Aaron as well, which waste of time. They might have been for something when we were in that uh, that ah. enhanced edition area that we went to. But now it's... Think carefully. No good. No point to hold on to them anymore. Oh, they're even... Are they gone? Wow. More cats. Yeah? What? Yeah, I'll get right on that. Make sure they're safe. What is the plan? Think carefully. Yes. Right. That might be it. Might be time to head into the, uh... I should have joined the army. Let's keep this up. A strange sight. The horizon was aglow for a time, as though many a man carried torches in the distance. Usually there are only merchants on that path, though never at night. Bandits, perhaps, but so many. Oh. The horizon was aglow for a time. I don't like yes. that. Yes. Yes. At all. Salutations. 
I am Catterley, a visitor of Candlekeep, like yourselves. Catterley? I've also read some books, Forgotten Realms books, where Catterley was a... Oh, is he a priest of some sort? And his, like, area, his... 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 Temple gets invaded. It's a pretty good story. Um, let's hit him with option two. I think there's more to this guy than meets the eye. But you may be hard pressed to remember. I was last year years ago and conferred with your foster father as you were off to chores. I'm not much your senior, really. I'm certainly tired of hearing it. And that legion have told you the same, but Grime was well known to me. His death has been mourned by many. Who was he to receive such adulation? Simple respect is all it is. Garin did many good things for my for many people. When last I spoke with him, I was barely acquainted with his fellows myself. But those who harp do tend to keep themselves there. I feel like he's a harper. Okay, so he's he should be friendly to us. He was a long-standing member, from what I understand. Likely, he said nothing to you because he wished your childhood to be as normal as possible. I suppose all parents wish this, whether the child is theirs or not. I have yet to meet anyone who made the claim achieving it though. How do you wager you have fared? Uh, as well can be expected, though I've learned much about myself that perhaps was better left unknown. Would that I have gold coin for every person I've heard say such a thing? I am sure your troubles vary greatly from my own experience, but we have all we all have trials we must overcome. We all have a side that should not see the light of day too often. What matters is how we, how much strength you wish to let it have. Bah! Such words are better safe for classes and meditations and for reunions. I will take my leave, though perhaps I should see you again before I am to go. The tomes of Candlekeep are very nearly endless, and I am sure to be here at ten day at least. There are some within the central people who wish to speak with you, so it would be wise of you to visit there sometime. Farewell, my friend. Again? Think carefully. Flidia. I was thinking Ophelia. Her name is Flidia. How long have we been gone? 140 days. So, like, six months-ish, coming up on? Honestly, like, not, not really super long when you think about it. I've moved away and I probably haven't been home for about that long. And I'm definitely not being hunted by half the planet. Alright, let's give, let's give Flitty a talking to. Hello there. Wait, no, you found that already, didn't you? Oh, I just don't know anymore. You haven't been around lately, have you? Never change, Flidia. We love you just the way you are. Oh my blush. Grind raised. Grind sure raised a charmer in you. Yes. Cool, no, of course. <laughs> you. Ryan Helm, sure as did. you will. What if you Think carefully. Sorry, my cat's rolling over on my mouse so I'm trying to come inside the keep. Right. With caution. I'm sure this is going to be a fight as well. No, excuse me, but I'm late for my classes. Yeah, you should see all the strange fellows who've come to the keep these days. Three men work for that mercantile. I think they call three now? Two of the, two, the two spookiest people I've ever seen. It's like clockwork. Every day they meet on the third floor to discuss who knows what kind of dastardly plots. So they're just boring old merchants counting their money. Oh, honey. Something on your mind? If only you knew. Karen. Karan? Child, look at you. Your face has gained some new lines since the days when I tutored you. Uh, it's not your fault. You prepared me as well as you could for what lay beyond these walls. 
I just pray that I am prepared for what I shall find within them now that I have returned. Shall I tell the watchers? The watchers are no more use than a bundle of sticks. Please, just tell me if you've seen anything strange in the library this past while. Uh, let's go with two. Yes, call the watchers, but first tell me. Yes, that is just the word I would have used for that Coveros fellow. He was right here beside me, taking Alondo's prophecies from their place on the shelf and reading them. I could hear his voice, recognize the seer's words upon his quiet breath. When I turned to steal a glance at him from the corner of my eyes, the strange his eyes were closed and he was reciting page after page as if from memory. He heard your footsteps, it seems, and wandered off. He was just returning the prophecies to the right of the place. Maybe he was to take a look. If this Coveris is dangerous, though, I'm afraid I'm too old in books to be more than a hindrance. Forgive me, but I must leave you. Let's see, let's check this area. It's not really large, so what we're gonna find. Huh? We're gonna find it soon. Way ahead of you, boss! So saith the wise Alondo. No, excuse me, but I'm late for my classes. Oh, that's why. There's gonna be multiple floors to this place. Damn. No, excuse me, but I'm late for my classes. Well, you guys are gonna try and run over here and talk to me? Yeah, I won't make you. I'm confused. Why does he have... Oh, that's right. Put that on to slow him down. No, excuse me, but I'm late for my classes. Okay, okay, bro. All right. What is the plan? Yes. Here. Theodon. God, These walls right. contain Ooh. the world. What should? Yeah, I'll get right on. Yes. By helm. Okay. Again. Not evil, but that doesn't mean he's not a doppelganger. Demi and Brothen call me stewed. If that isn't seen you for nearly quite some time. Yes, yeah, six months, bro. How have you been? You're able to keep your little swaddling clothes, pestering the elders and spooking the cows. Ain't that right, Jessup? Sure was. Shrax, years for long. Yes, I remember, but how have you been? I guess it's the Jaybird, someone turned their back. Blackstaff came floating in, though you were tearing around the other keep with Garion hot on your trail, took a cloak right off his back, you did, and made yourself just the cutest little. Yeah, option two. That was Kelvin Blackstaff trying his hardest to look important while you ran through the stables with his cape tied around your waist. Such a lark, eh, Jessup? Yeah, we both cry. I was shaking like a leaf. He was so mad. I should be... Yeah, I should get going. Kelvin mutters some word and catches you by the scruff of your neck with some sort of respectful hand. Mage hand! He hauls you out and drops you in front of him, grabbing his filthy cape in the process. Kelvin busts out the biggest laugh you ever heard. Everyone in the keep was laughing like mad, except you. You stood there naked as the day you were born and wondering what the fuss was about. <laughs> I think I should be going now. Play with ah. your friends now. <laughs> Alright. With caution. Head upstairs. Our library is a Yo. man's harem of knowledge. Curry? With caution. I'm not a big fan of having Giriel in the front every time we transfer an area. I pity you could not have returned during a more restful time. Why? What's going on? Strange right here. Those decidedly unmerchant like merchants for one. Some of our own monks are acting odd as well. One fellow in particular. Well, there is this fellow named Colveras. I assume he's a visiting sage of some sort, but he seems more interested in our guests than the tomes. He makes me nervous. I think he's had the same effect on others as well. Young Shistal has been out of sorts for days now. He's not as thick-skinned as I. Remember how nervous he used to be? Well, he's quite the opposite now. He seems like a totally different person. <gasps> Taco Gangers! No, Taco! You can't just... <sighs> no, Taco, you pause the game. Honey, I need you to not do that. Oh, you. You. Come in. These walls contain the world's knowledge. Can you tell me where we can find Tith Toril? 
track of his schedule, sorry. Wisdom is only possessed Ooh, uh, by the learned. On the sixth floor. Yeah? Well, yeah, I'll get right on that. Mm. Let's stealth up. Got one watcher in here. I doubt he'll be much help if the excrement hits the rotating oscillation device. Let's see what the chanter's got to say about us. The Lord of Murder shall perish, but in his doom he shall spawn a score of mortal progeny. Oh, this aging Chaos will be help. sown from their passage, so saith the wise Alondo. Played within its walls, but there are many places I was never allowed to go. I'm older now. Are there any places in this keep which I was never told? Yes. I'm not a child anymore, Chanter. I'm going old, and the young are not so young anymore. Alondo the Seer, the one who founded this fortress of knowledge and whose prophecies I chant each day, he is entombed deep in the bowels of this place. I tell you this, Kirill, because you're right. It is time you knew it, but I beg of you in Gorion's name. Do not venture into those trapped and boarded halls unless some higher power than myself bids you. Your stepfather would never forgive me for your loss. I must go now, child. It's time to chant the Seer's prophecies as I always have. Huh? Yeah, yeah I'll get right on that. Yeah, just, what is the plan? There's a peril. Like, it's a, everybody just don't take this place seriously. Yes. Let's all just go about our daily You need business. something, oh, stranger. what are you? There you are, my guy. My honor is my life. Covaris magic resistance. Yes? Why are they... Hello? Why are they switched again? Did I load a game? But it is a fine day to die. Around here, let me introduce myself. Please do. I used to work for your father, running messages to his Harpo friends in Waterdeep. Before he passed on, he entrusted this ring to me and asked that I give it to you should evil ever befall him. Will you take it? And what evil befell him, Covaris? You were there, you saw it. A woman, an armored figure, two ogres wielding clubs and two archers, but Orion's petty magic. The little use against them was it not, and you, you fled with your tail between your legs, hiding amidst the trees until dawn broke. Now it comes full circle, doesn't it? The Iron Throne is so close that you can almost touch them and wreak your revenge for that night. Covaris, I was there. Myself, my father, and six others who tried to kill us. Where were you if you know so much? You should be so void of trust, I am surprised you have made it this far. It is a little matter. Go seek your vengeance or your doom at the hand of the Iron Throne. I wash my hands of it. Again? I trust you, Covaris. Yes. With caution. These walls contain the world's knowledge. Okay, we're on the. Th this must be the third floor, I believe. What you got for me this time? Where ahead of you, boss? Oh, this Covaris, he was reciting. I don't trust him. I think that's a, a pseudo name that he's using to hide his true intention. Ah, here they are. Okay, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I honestly don't know how this goes. I can't remember. Ah. Yes. Where to now? I'll tell you one thing though, we are gonna be ready. Uh huh. What is the plan? Helm, give me strength! I guarantee this isn't gonna go. What is it this time? The way that we want it to. 
Resist fear. Can I cast this on our group? Yes. What now? I wonder. Where to now? Done and done. My dear sir, you must realize that it is manners that make the gentleman. So would you kindly prove that you are one by leaving? Many people can afford to be rude, but this is not you. Leave now before my irate companion Bernos lets his temper get ahead of his reason. We're the leaders of the Iron Throne. We're the ones who caused you so much trouble over the past weeks. We know what you're all about, and soon so will Duke Elton. You're the, and you're stupid enough to admit this? Well, my young friend, you may, you may find safety within the library, but once you've left, there'll be no place for you to run. But we just end all our problems right here and now. Draw steel. It's known that rudeness is how the weak make themselves look strong. Even if you were to somehow be disemboweled, how would you escape the keep? Or did you think that the monks would let you go about murdering everyone within their keep? Crash them button heads, boys. Okay. Again? Excellent. So. You rang? Here, we can play... By hell! The AOE yeah? game. What do you want? Hello? If temple My really honor fit. is my life. Um, that. Ah. You should probably. Ooh, I really don't want to do a bunch of things. Yes. Like but you, on the other hand, can, in fact. Okay. By temple shield! Mm. You're in trouble there, bud. Sorry, I can't help you. What is the plan? What now? I want, of course. Yes, again. Think carefully. Helm, give me strength! As you will. Shoot it with your bow. Huh? Yeah, I'll get right on that. Ah. Alright, bring it. What is the plan? Yes. It can't do so. Time for a bit of a rough and tumble. Okay. Where to now? Probably not the way that this was supposed to go. Um, I probably should have sold that, but the name uh, convinced me not to. Um, and now I feel silly because I definitely should have. Oops. All right. A simple task. Again? Yes. A simple task. Ah. Yes. Yes. Really? I what is the plan? More. Yes. Clarity prevents feeble mind confusion, fear, and charm. Oh man, that's awesome. And genius. Yes. Alright, and you got this is just all gonna be like generic gar generic garbage items, you know. Oh. Alright. Yep, your basic plus one stuff. I don't know why he has that in his whatever. Alright. <clears throat> ah. 
What is the plan? I'm glad you didn't die, bud. Um, but now... Uh... The Chancer says crypts lie beneath the keep holding the remains of Alondo, the seer, and who knows who else. Unfortunately, the thing that danger is that I don't enter them. But With caution. Headed, which is interesting because we're headed up right now, and I'm not sure what to do about that. Continue heading up. I should have joined the army. Crap. Ugh. I do not wish to harm you, but you must come with me. You are to be questions regarding the murder of the Iron Throne leaders. They were apparently killed not an hour ago, and an item of yours was found with the bodies. Please, you'll get a fair trial if you come quietly. I will use force if I must. Um... Um... Alright, I surrender. Take me to these individuals. Man, I wasn't done exploring Candle Keep though. So, Gary, you have sullied your father's name by defiling his home and bringing ruin to a peace that has lasted for centuries. I spit on you and all your friends. Your transgressions will be punished in the most severe form. I formally accuse you of the murders of Brunos Kostak and Realtar Anchev. Fine, do your worst, you old coot. <laughs> it's hard to figure what your purpose was. From what I've been told, you've been trying to place all the misfortune of the sword crow squarely on the shoulders of the Iron Throne. I assume you and your friends are assassins and the employee of Om. Perhaps you were sent north to create discord in the region, blah blah blah. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Bye. You son of a... Tethtoral, hello. There we go. <clears throat> I am sorry to see thee in such terrible circumstances. I know thee well enough to see that you have been falsely accused. Tomorrow, Ulrond will most likely sentence thee to be sent to Baldur's Gate. There you would receive the death penalty for these actions. I know that Garion would not want to see his only child killed a scant few weeks after his own death. Not want to see his only child killed a scant few weeks after his own death. Um, uh, bro. <laughs> Tis as a favor to his memory that I will help thee escape. Make thy way through the catacombs beneath the library, but disturb them not. I have your possessions with me. You must take them and go with haste. Do you know anyone by the name of Coveras? But Coveras is the reverse of Saravok. Oh, come on! Gary! Why did I not think of that? I can teleport you to the secret room that leads to the catacombs, but from there, you're on your own. You must be careful within the catacombs, as there are many guardians and traps, and perhaps whoever playing these murders, however dangerous the catacombs may be, they are the safer alternative to Ulrum's wrath. Fuck it. Yes, with caution. I didn't expect to find scrolls in there. Oh, oh my goodness. Um, we're just gonna sell them later, but cool. Shadow door. By means of the spell, the wizard creates the illusion of a door. The illusion also permits the wizard to appear to step through this door and disappear. In reality, he has darted aside and can flee, totally invisible, as per the improved invisibility spell for the spell duration. A true seeing spell, a gem of seeing, or some magical means can reveal the wizard. Interesting. That's what they did to us earlier. And I fell for that too. Like an idiot. Again? The key. From the looks of it, it is heavily warded. Luckily, Tethroll teleported you past such an obstacle. Common sense dictates that you must make your way to the opposite door. I mean, uh, based upon the extensiveness of this map, I think you might be right. I also think that we should pause here and call it an episode. But before we do that, 
we should do the history of the Chosen of Mistra. The reason why Mistra, the goddess of magic, invested a portion of her divine might in mortals is not known. One of the more popular theories, and one that is gaining more support in light of the goddess's other actions during that period, is that Mistra foresaw the time of troubles and her own passing at the hand of Helm, and chose to give some of her power to mortals in order to ensure that her successor, the female mage Midnight, as it turned out, would have a number of nearly immortal allies in the struggle against the schemes of the gods, the now dead Bane, Merkel, and Baal, who precipitated the time of troubles by stealing the tablets of fate. The theory goes on to suggest that Mistra informed Azuth at approximately the year of the rising flame, Zero DR, more than 1300 years before the Time of Troubles, that some of her power must be put into the hands of mortals, who would then become known as Mistra's Chosen. This power would sleep within the bodies of these mortals, allowing Mistra to call on it only with their permission. It would give the Chosen the innate ability to heal quickly and would give them lifespans far greater than those of ordinary mortals. Mistra speculated that these mortals might be able to call on her power and thereby gain some special abilities but that these powers would not rival those of a deity. The goddess of all magic then began to select mortals she thought to be suitable. One of the first was the young mage, Elminster. <gasps> oh, I did not know that. I did not know that's where, I thought he was just a well-studied wizard. She also singled out a promising wizard named Kelvin Arenson. Both have proved to be worthy and capable receptacles of her power, but Mistra's other early attempts to invest her power in living humans were unsuccessful, and she came to realize that only very few mortals were of stern enough substance to contain such power within themselves without being destroyed or corrupted. Even though, oh no, where did I go? Even though some people aside from Elminster and Kelvin may have possessed the requisite strength, it is possible that having lived for years prior to being visited by Mistra had set them on a path from which they were not able to deviate. Whatever the reason, the problem needed to be solved to get around the difficulty. Mistra devised a plan to use herself as a vessel to breed individuals who could be nurtured and acclimated to her power from the very beginning of their lives. For the father of these individuals, she picked the best example of human stock she could find. Dornal Silverhand, a nobleman and former harper who lived near Neverwinter. Mistra then possessed the body of it Ilyu Shundar, half-elven sorceress whom Dornal was already attracted to. Mistra revealed her presence and her plan to Il Ilyu, who happily and eagerly agreed to have the goddess share her body. Ilyu had been reluctant, but under the influence of Mistra, the woman became a seductress, and Dornal found his advances being suddenly returned with great fervor. Dornal and Mistra, slash Ilyu, were wed in the year of the Drifting Stars, the first of seven daughters, was born the following winter. Silunes, Silunes, Silun, Silunes, six sisters emerged at one year intervals thereafter. Endu, Umbara, Dove, Ethina, Astorma, Anamanyu, Leryl, Alasra, Shentrantra, and Erise, Quilue. <laughs> Wow. These siblings have become known in Realmsian lore as the Seven Sisters. Dornal, who had been kept in the dark about his wife's true nature through the years, presumably because Mistra didn't want to risk losing his services, was disappointed and nearly distraught by the time his sixth child was born. He had always wanted sons as well as daughters. More importantly, he was seeing his wife deteriorate right before his eyes. The strain of coexisting with his audit, the goddess all these years had turned Il Elu into a withered shell, in essence a lich, clinging to life only because Mistra's power was within her. When Elu was carrying the seventh child, Dornal consulted a priest who told him his wife had been possessed by an entity of great magical power. To spare both of them any further agony, he attempted to slay his wife's physical form by severing her head from her body. Bro, you fucking overdo it much? As soon as he had done this, Mistra was forced to reveal herself to him, and she went on to explain her scheme. Just as she had worried would happen, Dornal was aghast at how he and his wife had been used by the goddess. He turned his back on the corpse of his wife abandoned his land and his children, and vanished into the north. Mistra bore him no ill will, and in fact protected him for the final thirty years of his life. When Dornal finally did meet his end, he called out to Mistra, and the goddess granted him continued existence as her servant, now known as the Watcher. Dornal Silverhand travels the world unseen by mortals on a continuing mission to locate candidates to swell the ranks of the Chosen, to identify possible threats to Mistra and her minions. That... Was, that was good. That was a solid read right there. I liked that. <clears throat> Excuse me. 
Uh, ah. And with that, we should end this. Thank you for watching. GG.